Every year, the Lumiere Festival pays tribute to the history of cinema and its great artists in Lyon, France. Lyon is the birthplace of the Lumiere brothers, often credited with inventing cinematography. On Saturday evening, 5,000 spectators gathered for the festival's opening in the Alt Tony Garnier. Launching the event was the film The Innocent, directed by and starring Louis Garrel. His film was also shot in Lyon. The Innocent was part of the official selection at this year's Cannes Film Festival, a rare achievement for a comedy. Oh, putain. Quoi? Mais les canons? Sylvie! Et il est le troisième en 10 ans, tu l'as prévenu aussi ou pas? C'est une prison, c'est un club de rencontres. Je suis ta mère! Je m'en fous, t'es complètement folle! Garel is not only one of the great contemporary French actors, but also a filmmaker well versed in the history of cinema, and to which he pays tribute in his film. I thought a lot about Italian cinema. You could think about romantic comedy, also French, also from the 50s. Films are always in dialogue, so watching a film is also a journey, strangely, with films from the past. Celebrating the cinema of yesterday is also celebrating the cinema of tomorrow. And then it's joyful to meet again, to celebrate cinema in a big way. I'm very happy to be here, because it's such a historical place, the birthplace of cinema. I'm very happy to participate and to be one of the guests of honor of this festival. After looking at the program, I was like, I want to see that, I want to see that. Wow, really wilder and, uh, you know, Sidney Lumet and uh, Louis Mal and uh, it's just, uh, yeah, the films made by Jean Moreau. I mean, I'm like, this is a cinephile heaven. On Friday, American director Tim Burton will receive this year's prestigious Prix Lumiere. Known for gothic fantasies such as Edward Scissorhand and Beetlejuice, Burton will join previous winners Clint Eastwood, Martin Scorsese, among others. Nearly 500 screenings are scheduled during the festival until the 23rd of October.